Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to Amy Reads. So you may notice that my background is very different today. I am in Florida. Yes! Um, so I am in the middle of a week-long vacation with my family to Florida. If you don't know, I'm actually from Florida. So we are down here visiting family and just kind of, you know, running around, seeing old places and uh, just having a really awesome time. So it is Wednesday, June the 12th, which means it's the beginning of Buzzwordathon. So um, I will link you down below to my Buzzwordathon TBR if you want to watch that video because I also have a lot of recommendations in there as well. Now by the time you see this Buzzwordathon will be over, but just in case you want to watch it. Um, so I do have three books on my TBR for the week, um, and one of them is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, which is book one in the Firebird trilogy. I have this on audio, and my plan is on Friday when we start to drive home, because I get car sick and can't read in the car, I'm going to hopefully listen to that on audiobook and just put my earbuds in. Um, so my plan is to start that maybe on Friday. But the book I'm going to start today, um, I am actually buddy reading with my friend Jonna from A Book in My Bag on Instagram, and I will link her down below. But that is This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales, Lila Sales, I'm not sure how you say her name. Um, all I know about this is that it is a YA contemporary that revolves around music. Um, and I've heard really great things about this book, so John and I are very excited to read it together. Um, so this is the one that I'm going to be starting today, if I have time. Um, the other book that I'm going to be reading this week is The Way You Make Me Feel by Maureen Gu. Uh, again, uh, this is a YA contemporary, and I know that it has to do with a girl working at her dad's food truck and meeting a boy and there being a summer romance, maybe. So. I am absolutely in love with this cover, um, but I'm very excited to get these read this week. So just to give you all a little bit of update on what I've been doing so far on my vacation, um, just a lot of hanging out in the pool with my family. Um, and yesterday my brother and I went over to Tampa um, and went to a really cool place called Grindhouse Video. If you're ever in Tampa and you enjoy movies, specifically horror movies. They do have every other kind of movie, but uh, they have a ton of horror movies. So my brother being the horror movie junkie that he is was just like in hog heaven. Um, it was a really incredible place. So we went over there um, and then we uh, went into downtown Dunedin and um, ate and had ice cream and walked around and stuff like that. There are some used bookstores in the area that I am wanting to hit up if we have time either today or tomorrow, but I don't know if that's going to happen. If it does, obviously I will take you all with me. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping to get some vlog stuff done today, tomorrow, and Friday, even though I am coming home Friday from Florida. Um, and then Saturday, Sunday, the rest of the readathon, I should be able to vlog a little bit more, hopefully. So we will just kind of see how this goes. But uh, yeah, I am going to hopefully start this probably this evening, if I'm to guess, when I have some free time. And it's a really short book. Uh, let me see. It is 200... No. It's literally 302 pages. So it is not very long. I'm hoping I can get this done maybe by the time I leave Florida, if I have some time to dedicate to reading. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I will catch you in my next clip. And uh, yeah, wish me luck.
uh, sorry we don't have the best light, but I am in our Airbnb and it is getting dark outside. So I just wanted to film a little update clip. I've not read a ton on this vacation. Like I said, I've been here a few days um, and we're actually coming home tomorrow on Friday. So um, today is day two of Buzzword Readathon. I probably showed you some clips of just driving around in the beach. Um, went out to dinner with my grandparents tonight, took some pictures, um, and also my aunt, and, um, and of course my mom and my brother who I came down here with. And so took some pictures, rode around, went out to the beach. Um, and so yeah, I've not read a ton. I do plan on reading more of This Song Will Save Your Life tonight. I'm only on page 54. Um, so I think I'm in chapter three and like I said before, I didn't really have any idea what this was about, but this is about a girl named Elise who is 16 and, um, about six months before, and it starts kind of there, Elise cuts herself. She spends all summer before sophomore year deciding that she is going to make herself cool and popular by doing X, Y, and Z. And on the first day of her sophomore year, it doesn't work out for her and she decides she's going to kill herself. So she goes home and instead of killing herself, she just kind of cuts herself and um, decides that she didn't actually want to die. She just wanted attention. Um, and so we then go six months after that and Elise really doesn't have any friends and she's feeling kind of lonely. But the way that uh, Lila or Leela sales writes this is, um, or Layla Sales, is just really, um, I don't want to say it's funny, but Elise is kind of quirky and a little, um, it feels like a little bit of a dark comedy, kind of. I mean, it's not super comedic, but like, I wish I could like give you an example maybe. Um, there's sometimes when it's like she's speaking directly to you, the reader. Um, and I don't know, she just, um, she's kind of quirky and a little sassy. So it started out a little odd because I was like, where is this book going? I didn't know this was a book about suicide or about cutting. Oh, sorry, the lighting is so terrible. Um, but anyways, uh, I don't know where we're going from here. She has just met some girls and gone to this like underground dance club. So I'm assuming that this will be about music being a big part of her life and maybe saving her life and helping her. I'm not sure. I like the two girls that she just met um, and I, I hope that they stick around because they seem like fun characters. But uh, yeah, that's all I have read so far for Buzzwordathon. I am going to hopefully, like I said before, start my audiobook in the car tomorrow. Um, if, if one of my travel companions drives a little bit, then I will hopefully just pop my earbuds in and start A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, and uh, then I'll have two books going. So hopefully when I get home, um, I don't have anything going on all weekend other than just hang out with my husband and my cats and probably just not leave my house. So I'm anticipating getting a lot of reading done, a lot of reading done, so I can update you then. Um, but anyway, just wanted to film a short clip. I might show you a little bit of our car ride home tomorrow. Um, and then hopefully this vlog will get a little uh, less spotty and maybe more interesting from here on out. So anyway, I am going to go and make sure everything is packed for tomorrow morning and get some reading done. So I will see you later. Hello, long time no see. So I'm the worst and I haven't vlogged for two days. Oh well. So Friday I drove home from Florida um, and it was a very long drive. Um, it's like 12 hours. So that was my whole day. I came home, I snuggled with my husband and my cats and just chilled out. And yesterday it was Saturday and I honestly was so incredibly lazy. Like I had all these plans. Well, not really, but I was like, I'm going to unpack and shower and do all this. I slept so much of yesterday. I never got out of my pajamas. I was just kind of a lump. Um, but today I, I got up and took a nice shower, washed my hair and um, actually curled it and I put makeup on so I feel like a human being um, every day that I was in Florida. I did put makeup on some days while I was in Florida but um, the whole time I just felt sweaty 
and gross. And, and I mean, I live in Tennessee, so it's definitely hot out right now. But in Florida, I just feel like I never quite felt presentable. Anyways, I feel normal today. Um, and it is Sunday. It is day five of Buzzwordathon. So I wanted to catch you up on what I have been reading. I actually finished This Song Will Save Your Life last night. My copy is so jacked up. It was a um, scratch and dent from Book Outlet. Okay, unpopular opinion. I ended up giving this book two stars. I buddy read this with Jonna from A Book In My Bag and we both felt the same way about it. Um, I don't think I, okay, the way Jonna put it is she said she didn't particularly feel like she liked what this book was saying and I agree. There, the way that suicide and depression and anxiety um, and bullying even uh, are dealt with in this book are very nonchalant and kind of cavalier um, and I don't know if that's just supposed to be the tone. I felt like I was missing something with this book. Um, this is routinely rated four and five stars by a lot of my friends and people I follow on Goodreads so I didn't quite get it. Um, I'm gonna hold it up over here now. I didn't quite get why um, I really despise the main character, Elise, which doesn't necessarily mean that a book is bad. Um, but I felt like, you know, I was a quarter of the way through, a half, half of the way through, and I just never felt like I knew her. And she did a lot of things that, to me, I felt like were very contradictory of who we were being told Elise was. Um, there's a relationship in this book that is just very... Mm, I don't know if far-fetched is the, I don't know I just okay so the way I told Jonna is I feel like this reads like an early Sarah Dessen book in that um, this was written in 2013 or published in 2013 it feels like it was written in like 2000 and in the sense that it maybe is not as woke <laughs> for lack of a better term as I feel like it should be for a book written in 2013. It has a, you know, a main character who's really going through some stuff um, and a lot of like a very um, kind of like bad boy douchebag love interest. And I don't know, there's just something about this that read, you can probably hear my cats going crazy. What are you doing, Junebug? Um, She's scratching her post right beside me. But anyways, I, I don't know. It read very much like an early Sarah Dessen that didn't know any better. So I didn't really enjoy this book. Um, sorry to say, because I know a lot of people do like this book. I'll probably be passing this on, donating this. Um, it just was not a favorite. So I'm going to quit talking about it. Gave it two stars. Um, finished that late last night because, of course, I slept so much yesterday. I was, like, up very late last night. Which was fine because I needed to read. Um, I actually started A Thousand Pieces of You last night. And I've read just a tiny bit today. I'm on page 41. So I've not read a ton. This is about Marguerite Kane. And her parents were like physicists, I think. Yeah. Um, and they had created this thing called the Firebird. Which um, basically allowed you to... Well, first of all, they had this theory that there were all these different you know, universes that basically, um, there is a multiverse and, um, every single thing that everything that can happen did happen. Um, so there are infinite number of universes and the Firebird was something that they created that allowed you to jump into other universes, um, where you existed. So at the very start, I feel like we are just dumped right into it, although I do feel like it does a good job of explaining what's going on, even though we are kind of just dumped into the thick of it. Um, so Marguerite in, and her one of her parents' um, research assistants, Theo, are jumping into another dimension um, to try to find and kill the guy who just killed Marguerite's father like the day before. So that's like where we are jumping in 
that's all on the back, so that's not a spoiler. Um, and, I mean, I'm not super far in. So far, I'm intrigued. I like it. Um, this is a trilogy, and I do have all three books. This is, um, I, I really love the idea of multiverses. I like books and movies and things like that that have to do with alternate timelines and, you know, different versions of ourselves. I find that sort of thing really fascinating. So I had picked these all up for cheap in hopes that I would like them. So like I said, I'm not too far into this, but I do like it so far. Um, so I only have today, Monday and Tuesday to try to finish this and read all of The Way You Make Me Feel, which I left in the library, um, by Maureen Goo. So, I don't know that I'm going to get them all read. I do have this on audiobook for the next couple, I mean, maybe three more days. So, yeah, enough to get me through Buzzwordathon. So, I might try to, like, listen to this at work tomorrow on audiobook. Just kind of have, like, one earbud in. I'm really, I don't have anything going on at work this week, so... I don't see why I couldn't do that. So I might try to listen to this um, and then physically read The Way You Make Me Feel in order to try to get them both done by Tuesday night. I don't really have any plans tomorrow or Tuesday, so that's good because I'm a boring person. Actually, no, I'm just an introvert who just extroverted way too much last week, and I need some time to chill. So anyways, um, I think right now I'm going to go film some videos for like next week or this week and next week um and then my husband's gonna come home from the grocery store and we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works and shop the semi-annual sale because we are basic bitches uh but anyway that's what I'm gonna go do and then uh come home tonight and I think he I'm gonna see if he wants to play some Zelda while I read so that'll be nice uh but anyways I will catch up with you later and sorry again for the terrible vlogging this week. Hello, it is about time for bed. It's actually like 9.45. Scott is behind me playing Zelda. What, which Zelda is it? Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild on Nintendo Switch. So if you hear sounds, that's what it is. But um, I have been kind of reading intermittently throughout the day. So I have gotten farther in a thousand pieces of you. I am now on page 142 in chapter 12. Not quite halfway, but getting there. I'm hoping to get halfway by tonight before I fall asleep. Um, this is okay. I think it's a little slower than I hoped, and I didn't realize that one of the major things about this is a love triangle, which is fine. I'm not one of these, like, people that really hates a love triangle, but also I kind of can do without it. I don't read a ton of books that have, like, an actual love triangle, so, um, not super sure how I feel about that, but, um, anyways, I mean... I like it so far. So far it's kind of like a three star to me. I'm like, there's nothing like super offensive or boring about it. Um, but I'm also not, you know, totally sucked in yet. So anyways, um, my goal for this evening is to at least get to chapter 15 because that will put me over the halfway mark. Like I said, I'm in chapter 12 right now. Um, if I can read more, awesome. But tomorrow I go back to work for the first time in a week since I was in Florida all last week. Um, really not looking forward to it. Um, don't really have much to do, so hopefully I will get some of this read. Like I said, I do have the audiobook until like Tuesday afternoon, I think is when it's, um, is that right? Yeah, Tuesday afternoon um, is when it has to go back to the library. So maybe I can listen to this at work I don't know. We'll see. Um, but anyways, I will catch up with you tomorrow morning, hopefully, and let you know what I got read tonight and if my feelings have changed at all. Hello! It is Monday. It is day six of Buzzwordathon, and I am a dummy, and I did not bring my book, and I forgot my earbuds that plug into my phone, so I can't even listen to it on audio today, unless I'm in my car, which... 
I mean, I currently am, but like I'm in the office all day today, so I can't listen to my audiobook. I'm the worst. Um, so anyways, I did get to, I want to say I'm in chapter 16 of A Thousand Pieces of You. Is that right? Um, so I'm a little over halfway now. I did get past where I wanted to last night. Um, and I am liking it. Um, maybe a I think it's starting to pick up for me. Some stuff has gone down um, in the last couple of chapters that have got me interested. Um, and I am actually rather enjoying one of the romantic pairings. I had kind of read in some reviews that it was a little insta-lovey. But I don't really get that considering it's like they are they knew each other in their dimension and now they're in another dimension I don't know I'm actually kind of enjoying it and right now the dimension that they're in is sort of like oh I want to say like 19th century maybe or 20th no something like that 19th century I think which I'm not sure how that works. But anyway, and they're in Russia. Um, anyway, I am kind of enjoying it. So my goal for tonight is to finish it. And I realize that means I will have to read one entire book tomorrow. And I don't know that that's going to happen. It could. It very well could. But uh, tonight my goal is to get that book read, uh, a Thousand Pieces of You, and get it finished. So when I get home from work, um, that's what I'm going to do. I think I can do it. Um, I, it's 12.45 right now, so I have to work until 4.30. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to go home, just put my PJs on, and get to cracking. Because I think I have, probably have 150 pages left. I think it's about 375-ish. Um, so that's my goal for today. I am going to go back inside the office and eat some lunch and do some reorganizing in my office um, and just kind of... Yeah. There's a graphic novel that I'm reading from NetGalley that has nothing to do with Buzzwordathon, and I might try to finish that. I mean, it's unrelated, but I might try to finish it. So anyway, I'm going to go eat my lunch because I'm starving, and I'll check in when I get home from work. Hello. I am home. Uh, Scott and I just had dinner. He is once again playing Zelda. He's behind me. Playing more Zelda. Um, I got some of this read. I actually just came home and listened to my audiobook because I was listening to it on the ride home from work. Um, and so I just kind of kept going with it and was sort of following along. In the book, I have about 45 pages left. So I'm actually just about to sit down. It's like 8, 10, 8, 15. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this and let you know what I think so that I can start my third book tonight, which is The Way You Make Me Feel by Maureen Gu. So hopefully I can get a good chunk of that done tonight, and then I won't forget to bring it to work tomorrow. And then I can read it at work tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and yeah, possibly get it finished by tomorrow night at the end of Buzzwordathon. So we shall see. Uh, like I said, I'm going to hop off here and read these last like 45 pages. By the way, I'm really enjoying this. I think that some of the romance is a little corny, um, but... I don't know. I'm kind of digging it. Like, I definitely want to continue with the series. I've already actually checked out the second book in audiobook, and I think if I have it long enough that I might listen to it when I go to Philadelphia in a few weeks. I'm not sure. Um, I might already have read it by then. But, um, yeah, I'm really digging this. And it's, um, you know, it has some twists and turns, some of which are really um, obvious, some are not, uh, but yeah, I think I'm really liking it, so I think we've gone from, like, a three to a four, unless the ending is just totally terrible, I think I'm gonna give this a four, so, anyways, Hazel, quit scratching, um, like I said, I'm gonna get off here and finish it up, and I'll let you know my final thoughts when I'm done. <laughs> get it, Hazel. Okay, so here it is. It's after nine on day six of Buzzwordathon, and I'm trying to find another book to read. Okay, so here is 
It'll sit there. The Way You Make Me Feel, which is what I'm supposed to read. Well, supposed to, because that's what I have on my TBR. Um, and that's fine. I think that it is... Let's check and see how many pages it is. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. This is a wide contemporary. So I'm sure that it is easy to get through. 319. Okay, so pretty good. What are my other use? So this is my TBR shelf. Sorry, let me back up. This is my TBR shelf. Um, I like having my Funkos on display, but I think that it's too much on these shelves. That's that's a whole other thing. Okay, this, ignore my glass of tea. Um, this is my TBR shelf. So these are all, if you're watching my videos, these over here are books I have read and there is a giant pile of giveaway laundry. Okay. Um, so is there anything else with the word you in it? I'm looking, okay, um, You Are a Badass, which is nonfiction. There's no way I'm getting through that in one day. You'll Miss Me When I'm Gone. That's even longer, it looks like, than the one I currently have chosen. Um, over here, no. Okay, let's go down to the next, let's see. I mean, I could just read the sequel to the book I just finished, which, by the way, I really enjoyed. I should probably tell you about that, huh? Okay, I could read this. This is, like, even bigger, though. There's no way I'm going to get that read. Um, watch me just choose the book that I have in my hand. Let me move my glass of tea. Oh, here's a really shorty. Let me move Ron Swanson. Okay, we have You Are Here by Jennifer Smith. That one is very short. Another Jennifer Smith, The Geography of You and Me. Um, a little longer. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. So let me, I'm, I'm on off track. Let me tell you about A Thousand Pieces of You. I really enjoyed it. I left it in the other room where I would tell you about it. Um, yeah, I really ended up liking it. Kind of the same as I felt about it when I last updated you and I ended up giving it five stars or I'm not five sorry four I ended up giving it four um okay so I could read one of these I know you are here is definitely smaller um the start of me and you Emery Lord maybe um let's see see the only thing worse than me is you that's definitely longer okay so should I oh my goodness okay should I just do this the one that I have I'm being really terrible at filming this by the way um or Jennifer E. Smith, you are here. Why am I even asking, by the way? Because it's not like this is live. Um, I'm just the dumb. Okay. This is 251 pages. Maybe I'll put up a quick little, um, a little poll maybe on Instagram. I guarantee that one's going to win though because it has a beautiful cover. You know what? We're just going to go with this one, okay? Because, yeah, I love it. I think the only reason I'm even considering not is because I just saw that Lala um, put on her Instagram that she gave that three stars. So now I'm like, oh, do I want to read? I'm just going to read it because that is one of my absolute favorite covers ever. Um, oh, and it's like a silhouette, or not a silhouette, but yeah, on the back. Robin Benway. Courtney Summers, Brandy Colbert. Okay, there's cat hair on it, obviously, like everything in my life. Why did I even do this clip? I'm just going to read this book. Hello, just a quick update. Um, I just left work. I'm getting ready to go get my nails done. Um, this is what they currently look like. I love this color so much. I'm going to have to get it again. Um, anyway, that's besides the point. I have read, and let me go grab it. 
I have gotten to the halfway point, I believe, right around the halfway point of The Way You Make Me Feel um, by Marine Goo. I am liking it. Um, at first I thought, oh, I don't know that I'm going to enjoy this because, um, God, the main character, Clara, is like a brat. She's just really bratty and like she loves prank playing pranks on people and I hate that so much. Um, I hate being pranked. I hate, I don't prank other people. I hate seeing other people be pranked. I'm just not about that life. Um, I don't like humiliating people. So that kind of bothered me at first, but it does seem like there's some growth um, throughout the book. So that's good. Like I said, I'm only halfway. Um, and she sort of has this budding friendship with her like arch enemy, which honestly the two of them have like, I know this is not a queer story, but they have so much chemistry that I literally had to go to Goodreads and check and be like, is this a queer book? Because I, there's a male love interest for Clara, but I honestly was like, are we going where I think we're going in this book? Apparently we don't, but yeah, they totally could. Um, so anyway, I, I did get some reading done at work today, got to the halfway point in that. My goal is to finish it tonight. I totally think I can do that. I have 150 pages left, which I think that I can, can do because it is contemporary, so it goes quickly. Um, I also, not for Buzzwordathon, but I did also finish The OK Witch, which I was talking about, I think, in an earlier clip. Um, it is a galley that I had. It's a graphic novel, middle grade. Um, about a young girl who finds out that her mom's a witch and she's a witch and it comes out in September. It was very good. I gave it four stars. Again, not for Buzzwordathon, but I did finish it at work today um, because I like to kind of switch it up. So right now, like I said, I'm going to go get my nails done. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might do a rainbow for pride, but I just had rainbow nails like two months ago. So something makes me want to get something different. Um, my nails still look great, as you can see. These are gel, um, or shellac, or whatever. Um, but because of timing and my next trip, like, I'm going to go ahead and get new nails so that I can get new nails right before my trip. It's a whole thing. Those of you who, who do nails understand what I mean. You want to have, like, fresh nails for your trip, right? So, anyways, I'm going to go do that. Um, I'm going to I've got a couple audiobooks downloaded. I think I'm going to pick one to start again, not for Buzzwordathon, to listen to on the way to the nail place and back. And then I'm going to go home and eat dinner and read. So I will catch you up then. Hola. You can now see my messy library. There's my laundry that I showed you last night. Anyways, hello. It is 5.45, 6-ish on Tuesday. Um, I just went and got my nails done. I went for... I don't know how it, what am I supposed to do this? I don't know how do I show you. Um, so I, I showed her this picture and um, I was like, I want Polly Pocket nails, but chic because I'm 32. And so, you know, <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna have Polly Pocket nails, they have to be chic. Anyways, I love them. Uh, she did like this bluish teal and then like a super pale pink and a pink. And a purple, and then she did like a gold, because you know the Polly Pocket on the actual toys was like in gold. Um, so she did like a foil and a glitter. Anyway, I'm in love with them, so I will have them um, until I, till like 4th of July, when I go to get them done again. You all don't care about my nails. Maybe some of you do. I have not read any more of The Way You Make Me Feel. Um, I am on page 164, which is chapter 18. Um, but I just wanted to like, while I really I think I just wanted to show you my nails while it was still light out, if we're being real honest. Um, I just got in my jammies and I'm going to have dinner with Scott and I think we're going to watch an episode of Buffy, but then I have to get to reading. So I have a feeling that I'm going to like not quite get this done by the end of the day and then so it's not going to count. Um... I'm gonna really try though. I'm gonna really, really try. So, okay, I'm gonna get off here though and go eat some dinner. And uh, maybe while Scott is cooking, I can do some reading as well. So a little ASMR for you folks out there. Um, okay, I'm gonna take my book and go in the living room and snuggle some kitties.
Bye. Hello, it is Wednesday. Buzzwordathon is over. But you'll be happy to know that I did finish The Way You Make Me Feel by Marine Goo last night. It was just really late when I finished and Scott was already asleep so I didn't really want to film a clip. So anyway, I had to go to work today and now I am filming my clip to let you know that I finished this. Um, I did end up giving this three stars. I do think I liked it. Oh, you probably hear my cats going crazy. I do think that I liked it a little bit more than her debut novel, which I had some issues with, even though I did give it a three. Um, like I said, this is about Clara, who um, gets stuck working on her dad's food truck all summer because of this prank that she pulled, and she has to work with her, like, mortal enemy, Rose. And, yeah. There's a guy that she ends up kind of having a thing with, which... I think was one of my bigger issues with this book. Um, I enjoyed the love interest, his name is Hamlet, but I didn't buy for one second that they were together. And weirdly, it seemed like she had way more chemistry with Rose, who was her like enemy turned friend from the get go. Even though this is a straight story, I think I mentioned before that like I literally checked on Goodreads to see if this was an LGBTQ plus novel. It's not. Um, but anyways, I did think that the character had some growth over the book, so that was good because I really disliked her at the beginning. But yeah, so I gave this three stars. And just to wrap up, uh, the other books I read this week, um, I finished A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, which is the first in the Firebird trilogy. Gave this four stars. We'll be continuing on with the second one, which is 10,000 Skies Above You. Yes. 10,000 Skies Above You. Uh, I don't know when. I have the audiobook and the physical book, so maybe I'll listen to it on my way up to Philly in a few weeks, possibly. And the first book that I completed for this week was This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. I only gave this one two stars. I was pretty disappointed in this, thinking it was going to be way, way better. Um, it just didn't vibe with me. I didn't like how it dealt with suicide and um, depression, anxiety. I didn't like the love interest at all, which I think he's supposed to be unlikable, but um, I just didn't buy them together at all, and I didn't understand why they were together, and I didn't understand the main character's motivations behind anything. So, yeah, um, that's fine. I ended up giving this a two star. It's whatever. Um, but I actually read three books from my own shelves this week. So those are three books that I can now put over here on the red side and take up off my TBR shelf. So that's exciting. Um, very excited to have taken part in Buzzwordathon for the fourth time. Like I said last time, I like planned on taking part and then I got sick, so I didn't really, but whatever. Um, I pretty much love everything Lala does and um, will continue to support Buzzwordathon. In the future, if you want to co-host Lala, I would love to. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I am going to go catch um, up with my friend Ashley. She's going to come pick me up. We're going to go have dinner and watch some Buffy the Vampire Slayer for the Slay Along. If you don't know what that is, I'll link everything down below for that. I'm watching Buffy for the very first time. Um, but yeah, anyway, that was a pretty successful Buzzwordathon, if I do say so myself. I got three books read and three books off of my own shelves, so... I consider that a success. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more content from me or click that little bell if you want to know when my videos go up. And as always, I will be back soon with more book talk. Bye!